Okay, this is a, the Allen job, number 53598, installed on 523 by Stetson. Okay, so come down the stairs, and this is a basement finish, but they're adding a new furnace for the basement. Okay, so the furnace, I drew on the ground where it's going to go. It'll be 10 inches from the back wall, because that's what we got for the gas line. Um, return air will be tight against the wall. And duct just as it shows, furnace will sit on a base, furnace coil, piece of duct, and I have the starting collar. And then uh, you're gonna come through the wall and you're gonna go under that bearing wall right there, unfortunately. When you get through that, I have a three inch offset that'll offset it up. Okay, and then we'll have a T right here. Um, one side will go this way, the other side will go this way, and follow should be about an inch from this wall, the duct. Okay. Um, Okay, so the T, so 12 by eight going one way and 16 by eight going this way, then a reducer. Um, okay, so your return air, um, filter box, return air, and I didn't draw it in there, but right here, on the other side of the wall, you're gonna have a return air for the bedroom. So you're just gonna cut it up here. Let the wall suck it through. Um, anyway, then I'll go there. And then I have a piece of duct, which will just be a four foot piece. And I'll show you up here. So, It'll come here and you have a piece of duct, four foot piece here, then transition, and then a canvas tapping into a wall extension, 27 inch by three inch wall extension. So you're gonna extend this wall down. Um, may have to move this box over just a little bit. But yeah, extend that wall down. Um, and then on the other side, you're gonna put a 24 by 12 baseboard grill. Um, this is gonna be a bedroom here. So gonna put a 14 by eight baseboard grill for this bedroom. And a supply over four by 10, supply over the window. And he decided to make this is a bedroom as of right now. So you're gonna put a seven inch top takeoff over here in between the two windows to a four by 12 by seven end boot. And the return air, um, so I gave you panning, so just pan the furnace wall. And uh, I gave you, you know, some seven inch pipe. So just take a seven inch 90 and tap into the side of the duct, or sorry, the side of the panning and pan down the wall, wherever you can get it. <laughs> okay. Okay, and then this room here is gonna be one big room. So I have two four by 10 by six angle boots in this room, one four by 10 by six end boot over the window. And then they have a bathroom here. So I have a four by 10 by six angle boot over the vanity. And then they're gonna have a bathroom exhaust here. So he wants to go up and drill a four inch hole through the middle of those so he doesn't have to drop the ceiling because that's a garage there. So you're gonna have to side vent it out that way. So, um, 
or you know, I haven't measured the span of the beams, see if we even can, but if we can't, you can bring it out over here where it's already going to be dropped where the duct is and drop it down over and up and out. So, okay, um, that's three returns and six heat runs, five heat runs, just wasn't going to be enough for our, get our air out, I think. Anyway, um, thermostat, just going to put on a, a T6 Honeywell T6 Pro. I told him probably just right over the return air would work good. I also told him over here would work good. So either place, um, may want to just ask him again and see what he says because he was not sure what would be best in that scenario. Okay. So, one, combustion air is okay right here. Two, it's bent. So we're gonna go out the east, out that way with two inch PVC. Um, right behind the furnace, you have this room where they're gonna drop this whole ceiling, you know, because they have this radon pipe. So they are gonna drop this whole ceiling um, so yeah, just run your flues up and uh, just out where you can to a two inch flat termination. Line set, same thing. You're gonna go out this side to your condenser. Um, gonna get a new pad on the condenser, 30 by 30 pad. The electrician's gonna need to run power. So it's gonna need to run power to our AC and to our furnace, so I'll give you a 20 amp single pole home line breaker and a 20 amp two pole home line breaker. So he will run power to a new disconnect out there and also run power from the panel to our furnace. Okay, and drain will just be to the floor, standard order. And what else? Okay, let's just go out and look at the AC area real quick. Okay, so they do have an AC out here. Well, we're gonna put the other one. Well, it won't fit here, I don't think. 30, that's 24, 30, 40, 54. Oh no, you might be able to sneak it in there and scoop this over just a little bit. Um, oh, it's in front of the panel. Nope. Can't do that. So, I'm going to talk to him and find out where he wants to sit this. Because it's not going to work right here. Um, yeah. So, check with him where he wants to sit this. Um, and I will discuss with him where... We should put it. Okay. Um, that sucks. On the other side, it's our bath fan We're coming out here. So looks like a white bath fan cover would be the best over here. Sorry, that's the garage over here. <laughs> and we'll go from there. Thanks.